The heart is one of the most valuable organs in the human body. You can think of the heart as a tube that pushes blood through the body. The blood goes through chambers during each phase as pressure goes from higher to lower. When a contraction occurs, the pressure in the chamber increases leading to a valve opening or closing. From the body, deoxygenated blood enters the heart from the superior and inferior vena cava. Blood dumps into the right atrium. This SA node causes the atrium to contract, leading to the pressure building up in the atrium. As the pressure builds up, the tricuspid valve opens and blood is forced into the right ventricle. While the blood is forced into the right ventricle, the right ventricle also is relaxing, contributing to more blood being forced in. The right atrium relaxes, leading to the pressure gradient shifting and the tricuspid valve closing. The closure of the tricuspid valve makes a sound known as S1, which is the first heart sound and the beginning of systole. The right ventricle contracts, contributing to that closure as well. At this point, all the valves are closed, there's a contraction happening, and this is known as isovolumic contraction. When the pressure in the ventricle exceeds the pressure in the pulmonary artery, the pulmonary valve opens up and blood ejects through the pulmonic valve and into the pulmonary arteries. When the ejection comes to an end, the pressure in the ventricles falls below the artery pressures and the valves close, making another sound called S2. And this is the end of systole and the beginning of diastole. Blood travels through the pulmonary arteries to the lungs where they get oxygenated. It is there that red blood cells exchange CO2 for fresh oxygen and then are sent right back through the pulmonary veins back to the heart where they enter the left atrium. At this point, both ventricles and both atria are relaxing while all the valves are closed. And this is called isovolumic relaxation. Thanks to the SA node again, the atria will contract and this leads to blood passing through the mitral valve into the left ventricle. The left ventricle will then contract, building up pressure and closing the mitral valve. When the pressure builds high enough, the aortic valve will open and blood will eject out of the heart into the aorta and to the rest of the body. The blood will then go its rounds, providing oxygen to tissue and finishing back at the beginning where it enters the vena cava and back to the right atrium. And that is our heart cycle.